The processions continue without pause. The vibrancy of presence and present existence daily honors the spirit of inspiration and abrupt loss. Popular cultural icons are forever accessible to their admiring publics in their present state. Celebrity acclaim differs from the attention paid towards historical figures. Bruce Lee is lionized as a Chinese-American, martial artist, Hong Kong film actor and director, and philosopher. He became the undisputed global face of a martial arts craze during the latter decades of the 20th century. Neither new fads nor successors have ellipsed his unique fame. Seattle would become his pivotal formation center. He was transplanted to the city at 18. He attended Edison Technical School and the University of Washington. His obsession with expanding the exposure and growth of the martial arts world beyond the traditional confines of Asian culture brought him into direct conflict with controlling authorities protective of maintaining narrow traditions. He did not live long enough to witness the full flowering of his harvest. On May 10, 1973, Lee collapsed during a dubbing session at the Golden Harvest Film Studios in Hong Kong. The consequences prompted seizures and headaches. He was diagnosed with cerebral edema, which is an excess accumulation of fluid in the brain due to trauma. The warning signs went unheeded, and he returned to his frenetic lifestyle. He died two months later in his sleep while taking a recuperative nap on July 20th after reoccurring symptoms. His death became suspicious due to rumors of a curse placed on his family. His only son, actor Brandon Lee, died at the age of 28 in 1993 after being accidentally shot on the set of the film The Crow, which he was starring in. Brandon Lee was buried adjacent to his father at the Lakeview Cemetery in a plot originally reserved for his mother Linda. His gravesite was designed by Washington sculptor Kurt McLean and features two twisting rectangles of charcoal granite joined at the bottom. The pair of stones give the symbolic impression of being pulled apart at the summit. The Leaves grave site is piled with flowers, mementos, and frequently littered currency and tokens. Like the diverse population of urban Seattle, the composition of Lakeview Cemetery has evolved into its own semblance of multinationalism. Death and remembrance become irrespective of culture, importance, or age. Tombs and plaques signifying Russian Orthodox, Communist, Masonic affiliation, Asian nationalism, and even artistic ciphers are interspersed amongst the grounds. Their subtle identifications are often invisible to the casual and transient viewer. Seattle's roadway and monument namesakes, including such names as Mercer, Yesler, Denny, Maynard, Boren, and Nordstrom are discernible on the Pioneer Incline Track. The burial site of patron, Chief Seattle's eldest daughter, Princess Angeline, lies obscurely on the grounds. The marble and granite tombstones exhibit the finest examples of handcrafted sculpture. The practitioners of the skilled art are thinning as demand has slackened. Cremation, seaside and mountaintop burials, bronze castings, and space constraints have diminished their frequency. Wear, cracking, and softening often become reminders that even remembrance adheres to patterns of style and preference, and nothing remains eternal. The noteworthy pioneers that founded contemporary Seattle and their substantial tombs are often forgotten and ignored. Their reverence is restricted to street signage, which navigates their now urban settlement. And so we honor memories, and so we honor lives interrupted. The processions continue without pause. <laughs>